Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a traditional histogram and turn it into a unit histogram. So what a unit histogram does is it takes the traditional histogram, which in this case shows me that there's 13 states with an average sales of $150, and breaks it down into each individual state. So you still get the same shape of the histogram, except you get each individual mark as well. Let's take a look at how to build this. We're gonna use the Superstore dataset. First thing I need to do is create a calculation for the average sales per state. Create a new calculated field. Call it average sales per state. We want this to be a level of detail expression because we want to look overall for each state. What is the average sale? Type in fixed and then state colon average sales. And don't forget your right mustachio. So this is telling us for each state, give us the average sales. Click on OK. Now here's an important part. We need to take this calculation and create bins. Right click on that field and choose Create Bins. I'm going to leave the name the way it is, and I'm just going to guess at the size of the bin. Let's say we want to make it 25. Click on OK. And now I have a new field in my dimensions called Average Sales Per State Bin. If I drag that to the columns, you can see each individual bin. Right click and drag state to the rows and choose count distinctive state and click on OK. And now we can see the traditional histogram. It looks like we have a bit too much granularity. So I'm going to edit my bin and I'm going to make the size of the bin 50. Now you can parameterize this, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. Click on OK. And that looks a bit better. So now we want to take this histogram and turn it into a unit histogram. Let's create a new sheet. We're going to need a new calculated field. Create a calculated field and call it index. All our calculation is, is the index calculation. This is a table calculation that just lets us count things. Click on OK. Drag index to the rows. Drag average sales per state to the columns. Right click on the average sales per state and make it continuous. Change your mark type to a circle. So you can see we've got something here, but we need to add the granularity per state. Drag the state field to detail. And now, if you look down the bottom left, we have 59 marks. That's because there's 50 states in the US plus nine provinces in Canada but we want to separate this out so that we have the dots stacked on top of each other. Right click on the index field, go to compute using and choose state. And now you see we've got our nice distribution. Click on the size shelf and make the circles as big as you want. From here, it's a bit of formatting. Right click in the view and choose format. Go to your lines option, turn off the zero lines and turn off the axis rulers. I want to keep my column grid lines, so I'm going to go to rows and change that to none. Now you can see it's already cleaning up the view. Right click on the axis on the left and uncheck show header. Right click on the axis at the bottom and choose edit axis. And we want to get rid of that title. If I hover over one of the marks, we can see our tooltips look a bit messy. Let's drag the average sales per state to the tooltip. And now we can see we have the state and the average sales per state, but we want to get rid of the bin in the index. Right click on the field on the columns and uncheck include in tooltip. Right click on index, uncheck include in tooltip. Now it looks a bit nicer. We could clean that up. Right click on average sales per state field, choose default properties and number format. We're going to make this a currency field. Choose currency custom, zero decimals, and choose the currency of your choice. In this example, I'm going to use dollars. Click on OK. Now when I hover over, everything looks great. Click on my tooltip. I'm going to get rid of the state province text at the beginning and maybe make that nice and big. And in the second line, I'm just going to call it average sales. Uncheck Include Command Buttons, Unchecked Allow Selection by Category, click on OK, and there we have it. 
we have our unit histogram. If you have any questions, please let me know.